In this video, I'm going to be going over the solution of Shafina and prefix suffix sums from Code Chef January Challenge. So, the first observation is what we get when we add up all the elements of x together. So, we can note that the sum of x contains uh, the prefix of length n plus the suffix of length n plus the prefix of length 1 plus the suffix of length n minus 1 plus the prefix of length 2 plus the suffix of length n minus 2. And you add all the way up to the prefix of length n minus 1 and the suffix of length 1. And here, note that each term is equal to the sum of the original array A. And in fact, there are n plus 1 terms. So we know that the sum of x is equal to n plus 1 times the sum of A. And using this, we can find that the sum of A is equal to the sum of x divided by n plus 1. Alright, so here in my code I've already written the input and output. And I'm going to and start we'll try to find the sum of a. So and we do that by first finding the sum of x. And then we can divide sum of x by n plus 1. And note that since a is an array of integers, we need to check that sum of x is divisible by n plus 1. So here, if sum of x is not divisible by n plus 1, then the answer is just impossible. Okay. Now, um, the second observation is that second observation is that can group x into pairs such that each pair consists of a prefix of length i and a suffix of length n minus i. And this is after we remove uh, prefix of n and suffix of n from x. So for example in the in the fourth test case here we can find that the sum we can find that the sum of a is equal to 10. So after we move uh, prefix of n and suffix of n, both of which are 10 from x, we end up with x having 5, 3, 7, and 5. And we can pair, um, the way we pair these elements is first we sort x, so it becomes 3, 5, 5, 7. Then we pair the first element with the last one, and the second element with the second last one. Alright, so in the code here, we should remove two occurrences of sum a from x.
and it might happen that uh, some a does not exist inside of x so we need to check this case as well so in this case if we can't find sum of a then we need to return zero and otherwise if we can find sum of a in x then we should uh, erase sum of a from x Okay, next we do the pairing. So first, so as we sort x. Then we uh, start with the first element and the last element. So the first element will be i and then the last element will be j. And then we have to make sure that um, these form pairs. So if they don't add up to sum of a, then uh, that means that the pair is invalid and we should return zero. Okay. So the third observation. So, given the prefix sum array of n minus one elements, we can uniquely determine the original array A. So the problem becomes uh, how many distinct arrays you can obtain by how many distinct arrays you can obtain by rearranging the n minus one pairs and choosing one element in each pair. So for example, in the fourth test case here, uh, we have the pairs 3, 7, and 5, 5. So the number of so the number of arrays you can obtain uh, using these uh, two pairs is uh, first we can arrange the pairs in this order. Then we choose one element from each pair. So we can either have 3, 5 or 7, 5. However, we can also arrange the pairs in this order. In this case, we have 5, 3, or 5, 7. So we find that the final answer is equal to 4, which matches the answer here. So we can do this. Uh, we, we can find the answer with some math. So for each so that the first is not the second, we should multiply the answer by 2. So in the code here, um, you just go through all just go through all n minus one pairs and check if they're the same or not. And if they're not the same, then we multiply the answer by two. And 
then we also uh, this is for we, we found the answer for the number of ways to choose the element from each pair or you can also rearrange the pairs so let's say we have we have m types uh, m distinct types types of pairs and there are k1 pairs of type 1 k2 pairs of type 2 and so on and the number of ways is given by this formula So basically, it's just um, n minus one factorial over the product of uh, k i factorial. So in the code here, uh, first I'll multiply the answer by n minus one factorial. And then now I'm going to uh, calculate the uh, product here and divide the answer by it. So again, I'm going through all pairs. Basically, we just uh, we have a we start with a pointer starting at the first pair, and then while we start with two pointers at the first pair, i and j both start at zero, and then while j um, while the next pair in the array is the same as the pair the current pair we're working with, we uh, increment j, and we keep doing this until we find a different pair. So the number of same pairs that we get is k. Now we just find k factorial. Then we need to divide the answer by k factorial. So um, since we're working, um, the problem wants us to find the answer module uh, this. So we need to multiply by the inverse of k factorial. And we know uh, from uh, using some math theorems that the inverse of k factorial is just k factorial to the power of n minus 2. And we can find the power by using binary lifting which I have already written here. So yeah, that's pretty much it.